Welcome to Big Breeds and Crypto. I'm your host, Mr. Big Breeds, coming to you live from a reservation somewhere, taking a quick ASM and a few other coins to uh, get the night started. Well, let's get it started. Take a look at ASM. ASM actually made some moves to the upside. Uh, made it up to around 0.0561. Got a little bit of week off and started having some pullback. Uh, currently sitting on the 618 at 0.0505. Coming in at the price action of 0.0519. Could possibly be setting up with a little bit of a bounce here and then a move to the upside. Uh, you know, definitely could be a possibility, but we definitely keep an eye on the support at the 618 at 0.0505. Uh, if we do come down and start retesting that and we do lose it, definitely gonna have some pullback down to the 618. And if we lose that 0.0489, uh, definitely gonna come back down and get that sideways action. Uh, so keep an eye on that and possibly could be, uh, you know, testing that support and getting some lower price action as well. So uh, we definitely keep an eye on that scenario. As far as making smooths to the upside, uh, we definitely gonna make our way up over this uh, 0.5268, grab some uh, support and consolidation, uh, make our way up to this 0.0540. And then as far as getting some breakout action and moves to the upside, getting over this uh, 0.0561, and start making some moves to the upside. Uh, we do have a bit of volume coming in, a little bit more more than average. So i uh, definitely excited to see where we're going with ASM coming in 9%, a little bit up above. So it's pretty nice to see ASM making some moves. I know a lot of people out there have uh, been looking for that move to the upside. Uh, definitely keeping an eye on BTC. Short's been up like a, like quite a, quite a ways. I mean, today they were up like 200 and some percent and uh, seeing the shorts up that high kind of gets me a little bit a uh, little bit iffy on what's going on with the market you know keep looking for like a sideways scenario especially with BTC we've got a lot of big, a lot of calls out there it's always been you know got 50 50 percent bullish and 50 percent bearish so there's you know two sides to the story and it's about evened up right now so i'm still i'm about 50 50 myself so it can go either way folks but you know the accumulations there getting some uh, awesome price action had a few things moving around uh as, as you can tell asm made some moves to the upside and uh you know just got to worry about that btc gravity so uh keep an eye on that price action keep an eye on btc we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at moving up to mtt mdt's coming in at 0.0512 I tried to make it back over that 618. Uh, let me get, let me zoom out to the year to date and uh, see if we can't get a better look at this. Looks like it tried to tried to come back up over that support at the 786 at a 0.0517, coming in at 0.0512. Uh, couldn't quite, could possibly be setting up with the scenario here that we are taking a look at as far as a. Uh, you know, having that bearish butterfly scenario there. Uh, when I start seeing the, uh, the scenario start to play out, uh, you know, we really got to keep an eye on the support. So if it holds the support, could possibly get some sideways action. Or if we do start getting some bullish action, we got to make our way up to this uh, 618 at 0.0788, grab some support consolidation, start making our moves to the upside. Uh, but if we do lose this support here, then this total bearish butterfly would be set up. And uh, I'm definitely out here looking for some uh, lower price action. Uh, <laughs> so if we do lose that support, uh, definitely out here looking for this 0.3. <laughs> but am I going to get that price action? You know, that it just remains to be seen so keep an eye on the price action as far as mdt and keep an eye on btc there's a lot of people talking about getting some tippy action i still got that twenty thousand that i've been talking about since the beginning and <laughs> and uh you know this whole russia ukraine thing might just be enough to get it pushed down to that uh, price action which would you know definitely bring in some amazing price action on a lot of uh, on a lot of the uh, crypto market and I, i'm definitely excited to uh, uh get a piece of that action once it <laughs> once we do get that dippy action and uh you know as far as uh, you know adaptability and everybody talking about crypto it's always like it's 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 everywhere now everybody's talking about it it's you know pretty much mainstream uh adaptability is out there we had biden you know sign an order in to you know basically take a look at crypto and stuff like that figure out how to regulate it right and stuff like that so you know people take it took it you know kind of kind of some of them took it as bearish and some some of us took it as bullish i i definitely took it as bullish myself but you know so if we do have that dippy action to 28 
20,000, uh, which would be an awesome correction for like a restart on, on the crypto market as far as uh, everybody getting into it, everybody buying into it and getting an awesome, amazing price action. Uh, you know, that would be uh, very good for a lot of us that have been crypto for a long time and uh, we already know where to go and what we're looking for. And, uh, you know, definitely going to be making some <laughs> some good good funds on that once we get a lot of people buying into the crypto market and we're sitting here buying at the bottom it's going to be pretty awesome so uh, but uh you know uh, you always remember this is not financial advice these are my views and opinions on the market only and you always have to do what's right for you so keep an eye on that price action uh, as far as mdt we definitely got to keep an eye on that support at 0.0517 if we do lose that support definitely going to see some lower price action and uh we still got that breakout action at 0.1785 so keep an eye on that price action keep an eye on btc um <clears throat> we'll, we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at. So uh, moving on up to COV. COV is coming at 0 0.0390. Still getting some consolidation down to the, the lower price action. We're right below that line there. We might have lost that support there and uh, could possibly be seeing some lower price action. Uh, definitely least possibility of seeing a how low can you go scenario so i'm definitely out here looking for that price action so keep an eye out on that on that as far as making smooths to the upside uh we definitely get we definitely get over the 786 at uh, 0.089 grab some support and consolidation make our way up to the 618 at 0.1278 and as far as breakout action we got that 0.27 on the table as far as extremely bullish action and moves to the upside so uh keep an eye on that price action and uh, we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. Uh, moving on up to Jasmine. Jasmine's coming in at uh, 0.038. Definitely just been consolidating down. Uh, you know, I had some awesome price action. Let's go down to the uh, 15 minute scale here and uh, take a look at how it's looking here today. So as from the the year <laughs> the yearly chart, uh, we definitely consolidated for down for quite some time, made some moves to the upside, and uh, definitely consolidated down. You know, a lot of people had made some good calls with this, made it up to this uh, 0.17, and you know, then we're having this pull back down, and a lot of people have been, you know, basically keeping an eye on this <laughs> this price action. At a uh, let, let's take a look. Let me let me get rid of this here and uh, see if we can't get a the long term chart going here Possibly setting up in this scenario here. I was definitely keeping my eye on this 0 0.030 on the last, uh, as far as the 618 uh, coming down to test that 618. Uh, could possibly be seeing some lower price action. I'm definitely out here looking for the uh, scenario in the 0.013. I'll get this grid set up to where it's supposed to be for the next video and we'll get it all uh, set up to where it's, <laughs> where it's at. But I've been definitely looking for some uh, price action in the uh, uh, 0.03. Zero area and as well as the uh, 0.0121 as far as getting a decent bounce I uh, definitely got to get that uh, <laughs> you know everybody's like you know I see a lot of people talking about it everybody's like yeah man this is crap coin all this kind of stuff and after it makes like about <laughs> 20 you know 40 percent run up you know and it's like it's like you know everybody that bought down here it was awesome awesome day and then everybody that got caught right here <laughs> You know, it's bound to correct sometime, and it's going to have some pullback, and we're always going to be pulling back to the 618 or the 786, and lately it's always been the 786, so, uh, you know, definitely been, you know, uh, you know, in the past, yeah, it possibly gets, you know, we would get some good corrections up on, you know, up at a higher point, but, you know, there wasn't as many coins out, you know, years back, and, uh, you know, the money only had so many places to go, but now we got thousands of coins out there, and, you know, the, the oomph just isn't there anymore because there's a lot of other stuff that's getting pumped.
pumped at the same time. So uh, it would be definitely getting some pullback down to the 786s before we'd get my, my, you know, on the regular, it was like get some pullback and then we'd do 100x and then get some pullback down, you know, to the 30%. But now it's basically been between 20 and 30%. And then we get that pullback and then, you know, some little bit of waiting and then we didn't get our next pullback up. So, uh, but definitely excited to see where we're going. BT, you know, BTC has been really putting a lot of gravity on a lot of coins. And so we got to keep it on that price action. And uh, definitely out here searching for, uh, you know, the uh, 0 0.0130 area and as well as the uh, 0 0.0. Two, one for some awesome accumulation and amazing price action. Uh, we definitely get to keep an eye on price action on Jasmine. Jasmine was, you know, definitely moving to the upside <laughs> when BTC was doing some dippy action and uh, just got the gravity just got a bit too much. So uh, we definitely get to keep an eye on that price action. Definitely uh, excited to see where we're going with Jasmine doing, you know, a lot of good advertising out there. Had a drone show the other day and uh, uh, airdrop apparently. I don't know if that went through. I haven't heard much about that, but I thought they were supposed to do an airdrop yesterday and I, I really didn't see anything about it. So uh, if anybody has any information on that, be sure to comment about it and let us know how that went. Uh, but as far as, uh, you know, Jasmine keeping on that price action uh, could be consolidating down until we hit the bottom again and retest it and then we start making some moves to the upside. So, uh, you know, we, we don't got the double bottom and everybody was like, yeah, well, we already tested the double bottom. Well, when we start making our way back up there, everything starts filling up again. And then we, you know, we start creating, you know, a new bottom and we want to look for that higher low. And uh, once we get that higher low set into place, then we can start making some moves up back up to the upside again. So uh, keep an eye on that price action and we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at. I'll get this grid line all set up. So that way, a uh, little, little, little bit under the weather tonight. So uh, just trying to keep that, keep the show short, but we're coming in at 11 minutes. So uh, for everybody in Jasmine, we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow. Uh, but, but, might, might be doing maybe an afternoon show tomorrow we'll see how i feel and then uh that way you can get all the energy that comes with it so but uh so uh everybody in jasmine keep an eye on that price action if we do uh come down to this uh keep an eye on this 0 0.01330 which is actually set up pretty good that's about where we should be so um you know everything looks pretty good from that so uh keep an eye on that 0 0.01330 if we do lose that price action we're definitely going to be making our way back down to this 0.0 one two one and then uh definitely hoping for that bounce action but you know uh, <laughs> i still had that uh point oh oh eight five on the table as far as uh, uh you know the total bottom of this uh jasmine and that second bounce and then making the moves up but, you know it, a lot of people probably didn't sell down <laughs> in this area here so a lot of holders and then we got that bounce to the upside uh so definitely excited to see where we're going as far as jasmine so we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at so everybody in the coins we talked about tonight good luck and uh you always remember this is not financial advice these are my views and opinions on the market only and you always have to do what's right for you so you also have a good afternoon good evening good morning good night mr big breeds is signing out